hi guys so today we will learn how we can create a virtual machine and today like uh, we can create a windows virtual machine so in my previous video i have shown you like how we can create a virtual machines but that was uh, of lin of type linux so today we will learn how we can create a virtual machine of type windows and we'll see like how we can connect to that virtual machine as well so here also we'll be have we need to go to that similar virtual machine tab then uh, we need to select on create azure virtual machine then again everything will be same like selecting that subscription then resource group then virtual machine name will be giving And then location I will be keeping as by default you can select according to your need availability option you can keep it like no redundancy is required then you can select that type which version of windows you want to select so here we will be seeing multiple windows version so you can select any one so currently I have selected this uh, 2019 windows then here you need to give username and password then here we'll be having an option if you want to enable some port because if you want to connect to virtual machine that time that 3389 port should be enabled so either you can enable it while creating it or later point of time if you are selecting that none means it will not allow this port so you, while connecting you need to go to networking and then uh, allow this 3389 port so why we are allowing this port because that RDP service will be running on uh, this 3389 port on the VM so maybe like now here I will be keep as selected allow selected port so in later point of demo i will show you like a way from where you can enable and disable then in disk i will just select that os disk only i will be i will not be needing any additional disk then in network point of view you can uh, select a default subnet then public ip you can give any name or you can create manually and then assign if you are already having then you can select it from the drop down Apart from that, I will be keeping all the other settings as by default. Then monitoring, let it be as default. Tags, if you want to give any tag, then you can give. then you can come to this review and create so it will validate like what all configuration you have selected once that validation is passed then you will be seeing that enable create button enable that create button yeah see so you can see like validation is par now you can just click on that button create so now as you can see it is uh, deploying this virtual machine so normally like in a background what will be happening is like it will be creating that uh, disk it will be creating that subnet it will be creating the resource group it will be creating that uh, network everything it will be creating if it is not there if it is already there means it will automatically pick it up and then it will deploy that uh, virtual machine so here also you will be able to see the output like what all things it created and what is getting created so currently it is the deployment is in progress so here you can see like he this cloud azure cloud has deployed this public ip which we have given there here it shows green right green tick and then status is okay in the same way like all the resources if it is not that everything it will be creating see this network interface it created in everything whatever is getting created it will be coming up here and it will be showing us the status like yeah this these things are created and uh, 
once that uh, virtual machine is created then it will show like everything that all the resources are completed and then you can directly click on go to resource and you will be able to go to the console of uh, that uh, virtual machine virtual machine page <coughs> so now this virtual machine is getting deployed so let it get completed then we'll uh, go and we'll just connect to this virtual machine as that 3389 port is already enabled by default as we have uh, selected allow selected ports while creating that virtual machine <coughs> Yeah, as you can see, like all the resources are completed, you can see your deployment is completed. Then you can directly go to <coughs> the resource, it will open this virtual machine, whatever is got created. Here you can see this is that public IP and uh, in the beginning of this video, I told you, right, uh, we need to enable that 3389 port. So if you will go to networking and uh, inbound rule. So for this inbound rule also I have created one separate video you can just check my playlist and you can see that video. So here if you will see that allow RDP inbound rule 3389 that is allowed. If it is disabled means you won't be able to do RDP to the system because uh, there won't be any inbound traffic coming to this 3389 port so you won't be able to access this virtual machine. So just make sure like you have enabled this port then what you can do is like you can just copy your uh, public IP you can uh, just look for uh, RDP or you can install this RDP client to your system you can just paste that public IP then once you click on connect then it will ask for that username and password then you can give that username and password once you are done then you can click on ok button yes so now it is connecting to your uh, windows vm so as you can see like uh, we are connected to this vm which we recently created we are able to log in so now you can do all the stuff for which you have created this virtual machine so that's all for this video if you have any doubt with respect to creating a virtual machine uh, windows virtual machine you can just put it in a comment box i'll just look into your comments and we'll create another video if it is feasible to me thank you so much thanks for watching this video Please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends.